Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer here. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Okay, today I just want to address a couple of things. One, I got a comment from somebody and this person actually asked, which is a genuine great question by the way, that if I believe in God and Jesus, why do I rely on tarot cards, etc. to give me the answers? I want to address this one because, you know, I will never say I'm a master of anything. I'm not a guru, okay? I'll never call myself guru girl, which someone suggested to me years ago, okay? I'm not um, what I would call enlightened to the point where I can be an ascended master, which I call the Ascended Masters, Jesus, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, and those ranks of hierarchy in the universal energies, okay? I'm not one of those. I'm still a humbled human being. I make mistakes like everybody else. And I look at my own good attributes, you know, what do I appreciate about myself? And one of those is that whenever I do stuff up, I always try and say sorry. Okay, I always try and correct that karma or that energy. All right, so why do I do now tarot readings on Sundays? Because I have this girl with me. She's always with me. But you guys can't see her. You guys can't hear her like I do. So in that light, when I do a reading or something for somebody, that person wants that confirmation okay today is all about confirmations so i hear something from her which i can easily relay to you the viewer but you don't trust that you could easily say oh that's just linda's ego talking that's her making up stuff so when i use the tarot cards or the now the ruins or even um, any other device like paranormal equipment you know we've got spirit boxes we've got EVPs that we can record we've got um, the rods etc that we can use as a tool so then people viewing that or observing it witnessing it they get the confirmation that what I'm doing is um, accurate okay it's all right for me to say this coming week I see that we're all going to need to have the strength of Archangel Michael on our shoulders, okay? But when I pull out the card and it's the courage card, that represents to that viewer that confirmation in physical form that they can then say, okay, now I believe this, okay? Because not everybody, unfortunately, I'd love yous all if yous did, have this woman that works with you as well but I sit here some days and I think why did she pick me you know what am I doing who the hell am I I'm just a girl living in Brisbane you know um who the hell chose her to be with me because you know when we look at religions I do believe in heaven obviously I went there for five years I do believe that there is a deity or a God that does exist. Some people call it the universal energies. You know, we look at the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. What is that Holy Spirit? That is that energy that is within every single one of us. Okay? So we can create that source because that's what I like to call it the source of that deity that deity or God who I say thank you so much to every single day I am actually acknowledging that I am part of that Holy Spirit or I'm part of that source of energy that emits from every single one of us out into the world and that's why we're all connected you know, if you've read my book, Five Years in Heaven, um, I explain how everything is one. So there's no separation, which religion teaches us. Religion teaches us that there's a God over here, we're over here, and we've got to pray to him, and then he listens and talks back. But in spirituality, what we learn is that we are 
the entity that is that deity or God, okay? We are connected. We are one, okay? So therefore, those who are spiritual, they believe that their intuition is the source or that deity God talking with us or through us because we're all connected. There's no ego involved where it's just about me, okay? When I do readings for people, the first thing I say to them is I explain myself. I teach people how to do this themselves, okay? So the first thing whenever I get somebody on Skype or Zoom or on the phone or if they come to my house, the first thing I say to them is, please know she's up there, so you've got two psychics for the price of one, but she uses me as her tool so am I her tarot cards? I think so. Am I that um, other, like ruins, the rocks, where she tells me something, showing me, so then I display that like a tarot deck to the person, okay? So I tell people straight away, you get two psychics for the price of one. She talks through me, and then I relay it like a um, communications device. So what is happening is it's not my ego getting my intuitive messages, okay? Does that clarify that to a lot of people on how that works? Okay, now I mentioned a word earlier, which I love and I'm going to go back to, confirmations. Whenever we want to be... Um, starting off with like psychic abilities or learning to use our intuition we always want confirmations I got a big one this morning when I was sitting here thinking about this comment that I got which I love by the way I love it when I get some hard question you know some people would look at that and say wow that's a hard question well um, if you believe in Jesus and God why would you depend on tarot cards okay so that could be a hard question for a lot of people to answer. But ultimately, I was researching this morning. Now, when we look at gods and deities in different religions, the reason why I call it Jesus is because that is the religion that I was brought up in. I was brought up in a Christian environment. So whenever I call out to God, Jesus, that is my respect to that source, okay? Now, the funny thing that I found this morning is the word diva, D-E-V-A, or is it deva, whichever way you pronounce it. If we go back into the Sanskrits of India, which is through the Hinduism and the Buddhist religions, they believe that there's this diva who is radiant and shines so I read that this morning and I thought my goodness they believe in this entity who is their deity a deva and it's somebody who shines and radiates now if you've got a book of my book a copy of my book look at the front I explain these three if you want to call them the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, okay? Because a lot of people, when they do their life review, they actually do see these three beings, all in different forms. But when I explain these inside the 369 pages of my book, these three were not in human form. They were energy, radiating energy. So they were radiating, they were shining. So as the energy was going up, now, I explain it like a reverse waterfall where the water is going up, but it wasn't water, it was energy. The water is going up and it was swirling in their heads both clockwise and anti-clockwise at the same time. So they had no physical form. It was all energy and it was radiating and it was shining. So that gives some confirmation through my experiences and what I've seen that when I was reading this about divas this morning back through the Sanskrits they talk about these entities that shine and radiate and I've personally seen that 
But for somebody else sitting there who's never had a near-death experience or never seen a ghost or hasn't had much interaction with the paranormal, these persons need their confirmations. Somebody who's learning how to be um, intuitive, they want to see a confirmation, not only to prove that it's correct and that they're on the right path, but it gives them also that confidence to keep going with it, yeah? Okay, so now let's just stay there on confirmations. I did a video about a week, oh, about a month ago, and I called it, How, to, How Do Trolls Operate? Boom! I love looking back with that perspective of Vision 2020, and you see what I said a month ago, was that confirmation because in the last four or five weeks since I did that video true colors are coming out have you noticed it okay so I love it when I do a video and then I get the confirmation after it how many of you guys watching this now are seeing people who are angry people who are struggling whether it's physical health, mental health, or just struggling with daily bills, etc. How many people are now getting angry to the point where they're trolling people, creating false Facebook profiles, okay, and using them? Their ego is so intense at this point. Have you noticed it? Because I'm seeing it since I've done that troll video. The true colors are coming out. And I said that in that video a month ago, okay? Since that video, which I'm sitting here laughing at, by the way, it is hysterical. These people have shown their true colors. And I'm sitting back observing, not reacting, but I'm responding. Because there's a big difference. Reaction is when we use um, emotion, okay? We get triggered like a knee-jerk reaction. So we are repeating the action of that other person. I don't react, okay? I never react. I used to, but I'm learning. Because as I said before, I'm not a guru. I'm still on this learning curve, right? So I'm learning now how to respond, okay? So I sent this person a very clear cease and desist notice. That was about four weeks ago. And boom! Have they come out of their shell and shown their true colors? I'm loving what they're doing because not only are they crucifying themselves because now everybody who knows them are waking up to who they truly are. <laughs> I love it. But I sit here and I look at my girl and I say, you know, you're so funny. She tells me ideas. Do a video, Linda, about this. And I think, really? Nah, I don't want to do a video about that. No, 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 Linda, you've got to do a video about this. I'll do the video and then boom, all this confirmations come out from it. Okay, all my videos, if you've noticed, there has been consequences because no action never has a reaction. They always do. They always have, there's always a reaction to an action. So if someone's nasty, there's going to be a reaction. If someone is good, loving, kind and forgiving, there's going to be reactions, okay? So I just want to go there today, a message for us all. Seek out your confirmations. Seek out and ask them to help you, okay? I send love, kindness, compassion, understanding and perspective to every single person on the planet. Even this person who has treated me so badly, okay? I send them love. I hope that they deal with whatever physical, mental issue they've got. I hope that they come to some realization that their behavior isn't helping them. It's got nothing to do with me. I take myself out of that equation but I send them the healing from the angels, the divas, if you're, if you're into the Sikh or the Buddha religions. I give them Archangel Michael 
because our, oh, yeah, there goes my phone again. Archangel Michael does serve justice. Okay, that's all I've got to say. So today, guys, look for those confirmations. You know, it's just after Christmas and New Year. I hope that you've all had a fantastic Christmas New Year. I had the best Christmas New Year that I think I've ever had because I use that time to put things into perspective. I look at who is in my life. Do I really want them in my life and do they add value? Do they add integrity to me? Do they add um, honesty, trust, loyalty, devotion to me? Do they add all the good, loving, universal traits and behaviours? Or are they people who are showing me of what, who I don't want to be in the next year? Okay? So this is a perfect opportunity for us to now evaluate our lives and sit there and say, any of these behaviours that I'm doing, is it truly in the best good of me? Am I acting angelic? You know, I made a little note to myself last night and I actually wrote down, in this situation I'm currently in, what would the angels do? How would they act and what would they say? Think about that because if you do want to be angelic, guys, ask them for confirmations. You know, you might be sitting here and say, you know what? Uh, my New Year resolution is I want to start helping people more. So then you'll be in a position where they give you that opportunity. You'll be walking down the street and you might see someone fall over. Now you've got a choice, keep walking, ignore, ignore, or stop and help them stand up, pick up their groceries or whatever else they've dropped. Who are you? Who do you want to be? And most of all, you will get those confirmations which come in those opportunities to show us who we are. And this is all the angels work. They put us into these opportunities or situations where we can prove to ourselves to get that confirmation of who and what we are, okay? I today am so grateful. I am so honoured and blessed. My life is going great. My life is rewarded so many times over. And I don't have to explain or justify how. It's simply the perspective I put on my life. As soon as we say, my life is great, greatness will come. Because that word is now our intention. Because we said it. What we think, we create. Right? So the more we say, oh my God, I just had the worst Christmas ever, you're creating that in your future as well as your past, okay? This is pure psychology. Depression and a lot of mental health is based on past issues that we haven't cleared, released and forgiven ourselves for. And the first thing that we must do to get rid of that is to identify the reason why we want to get rid of or release or clear it out. I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to be more of this. How many times do I mention my cup? How full is your cup, guys? It's not a third full. It is full. There's air in the top of the bottle. So if we want more of this good stuff, We've got to release this. We've got to identify what it is we don't want to be anymore and let that stuff go. So then more water can fill our cup, which is nurturing, sustaining our survival energy. Okay? So today, guys, think about who you want to be. Think about just one. It doesn't have to be a doozy. Just think of one thing. I want to be happy. And then think of 
reasons or opportunities that come to us from the angels and say, right, I was just in a position. Oh, my God, I didn't realize it. I was at the shop today. I had an opportunity where I could show my happiness. I blew it. You know, when I go to my shopping centre, they always have music over the PA system. They've always got the radio on. And it's always like a repeat of songs, right? Song after song. There's no talking in there. So whenever I'm pushing down my trolley, <laughs> this is one thing I love doing. I love emitting this happiness. So as I'm pushing down my trolley and there's a song on the, on the coming over, I'll be pushing around and I'll twirl the trolley around and I'll wave my arms around and I look at the security cameras and I go, yeah! Because there's somebody watching them, right? So I'm now admitting it even to the people watching the videos. Hi, love you! Okay? And then the people walking around, they look at me and they go, oh gosh. But then they start smiling. And then as they walk away, they've got a little skip in their feet. Because happiness is contagious, like every other emotion. So think about what it is that you want to emit today, guys. You know, my troll, I send them love. I send them forgiveness. I send them the peace of the universe to get through their SHIT. I hope and pray they look within themselves and say, you know what? This isn't working for me anymore. I want to be a better person. And the beauty of confirmations is true colors come out. We always let other people know who we are, correct? So perfect timing, you know, it's now the 5th of January. Perfect time. What did you make a New Year resolution about? Losing weight? more money, better friends, more hobbies. Start to live those revolution, resolutions. Live them. Create them. Don't just say, I am going to. Say, I am. Don't just say, I'm going to lose weight. I am losing weight. I am starting my hobbies. I am going to make money. I am making money. Take that going out of there. I am making money. Because when we put out those intentions, good or bad, they come back tenfold. I hope you all want the best out of life. I hope that you all want Money, 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 money! More friends, more adventures, more companionship, more loving people around you. And the only way to bring all that in is if we love ourselves first. So get out your pen and paper. I say it as an example to everybody. You get a simple pen and paper. You put a line down the middle. On one side, you say pro, and the other side, you say con. And you list all the good things about yourself. And then you look deep, and you go back through all your memories. Any traumas, hurts, pains that we've had in our lives. You obviously don't want them anymore, right? So you list them on this side. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And you list all the things that you do want in our future. What's good about me? Am I happy? Yes, I like being happy. I like being generous. I like being kind. I like it that I'm earning money. I like doing this. I like doing that. I love the color red. And did you notice what I'm wearing today? I'm the gift that keeps on giving. I'm the gift that keeps on giving. I love this shirt because that's on my pro list. I love the colour red. Look, I wear my ruby every day. This is a real ruby. And I love my red nails. I love my red flowers. I love... So I have a acknowledged 
what it is that I do love about myself. I love this. And that's not being selfish or egotistical or, or spiteful to anybody else. It's me identifying who I am. And that's what I want you all to do. So get out a pen and paper and do this simple example. Pro and cons. What is it that you want to get rid of? And then think about ways to eliminate all that. And think about how to create this. And do they do they link? So you might have one of your pros might be, I love money. And on the other side, you say, I am poor. I love money. I am poor. So they crisscross. So down your list, you know, you've got all these things. You might find that this thing down here correlates to this one. So you add them up and you work it all out and you make and you cross them over and you say, okay, this one here is a reflection of that one. This one here, this con that I don't like, I want to be that. Okay? With all these lines that we write on our list. And then you say, okay, if I start being more loving, more gracious, I'm going to get rid of me being an egotistical bigot or whatever you want to be. Okay? Oops. Hopefully YouTube doesn't pick up that word. But at the end of the day, we can only identify who we are when we self-analyze ourselves and then ask for those confirmations and say to yourself, you know what? I've now seen that I can do this. It's like that tarot spread I spoke about earlier. You've got that confirmation right in front of you. How are you feeling, guys? I hope, you know, I, I absolutely hope and pray every person that watches me is learning how to be more loving, more generous, kind, understanding, compassionate, beautiful people. Beautiful people. What does it mean to be a beautiful person? Think about it. Are you a beautiful person? And it's not about your hair. It's not about your face. It's not about your clothes or you, what car you drive or house you live in. It's all about what's in here, the source, that oneness. And I've been blessed and honoured that I had an opportunity to go and experience all that. But a lot of people haven't. So I hope that you listen to my wisdom because I only share my experiences in that hope that other people see that radiating and shiningness of the divas, if you're into the Sanskrits where we are connected to them. Hope and pray that you've liked this video. Comment below your questions, you know. I love it when I get questions. I love the doozy ones, you know. I love the deep and meaningful ones. So comment below. Share this with your friends. Now, I will just go there down the bottom. I've now got a copyright claim. Do not copy, reproduce, or share this video without my written consent. That's because of my troll. You don't want to know what they were doing. Silly, silly, silly. True colours came out. And I love it. Because I'm not a silly person. And I watch. I observe. And I allow archangels to do their work karma is a big one guys what sort of karma are you creating look inside and say oh, I want to be better or the other side of that I hope and pray you all want to be good people okay and that's why you're all watching me right because you're trying to learn just like I am I'm still learning this too okay but at the best the best advice that I can tell you is is keep trying keep trying because they see it she's observing me every day and that's how we earn our brownie points right think about brownie points in heaven I've done my life review I know what it's like I've been there and done that it's in my book if you want to copy the links below okay but please know guys our life review can be very, very hard and it is inevitable. We all face it. 
Try and change those behaviours into good, loving, kind ones. Create that pro and con list and say, you know what? No more do I want to be that person. You know, the world seriously needs love at this point. The whole world is getting angry, nasty, abusive, attacking, trolling, creating face profiles, creating false videos. My God, the endless list is going deeper of what people are now resorting to because they can't break their negativity and create positivity within themselves. So I hope this video today has helped you guys. You know, please comment below. Please let me know um, any feedback. I love it when I get my emails. My emails is always listed in the comments below in the description. Okay, so I hope you've liked this one today and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.